So now I'm going to add copy activity guys. So click on this modification button, pencil symbol. Now click on source, click on blob storage. Okay. I'm going to select delimited text. Now I'm going to select storage one. Okay, click on. I'm going to utilize existing linked services, guys. Okay, whatever get metadata is the same linked services I'm using here. Okay, but here, or else you can be better to create a new one, guys. Okay, don't utilize the existing one, better to create a new one. So I'm going to create a new block storage, delimited text. I'm going to use the existing linked services. Input folder. Don't utilize the existing get metadata. What happened? You know, whatever property you are getting changes here, right? Same thing will impact on the get metadata side also. So it's better to have to create new one. Okay. So I have created new one. Now open here. Here I want to call dynamically. So I'm going to create a parameter. Select point. I mentioned it. Now go to connection tab. Here, add dynamic content. Select file name. I have added. Okay, in the I am pointing the parameter to this data set. Okay, now come back to the pipeline to here. Select your parameter, whatever you have created. Right, we have already assigned it. Now I am selecting the party chat entity dot name. I want to call the name parameter. Name value okay. So, how do you get the name? Suppose go go back here, click on here for each activity, right? I mean to say here filter activity. So, name property is there, right? Automatic for each activity will read the value proper values inside the array. We have right name type. So, inside the array, we have name type. I want to call the name value, name key, okay? So, inside the copy activity for the source, I have selected has a item run in dynamic the dynamically fetching the name whatever filtering the uh, particular name by filter activity now click on azure blob storage select target now i want to select different uh, linker services here output folder i have mentioned okay now click on okay here i don't want to give the name it has to be whatever file name it has to be Copy the bit, same file name only. Now click on open. I'm going to create one more parameter. Select output. Right. Now I'm pointing to the this data set. Okay. Oh, sorry. Now come back here. Now here I'm going to call the dynamically. Item dot name. Now click on OK. Now execute the flow. And that, this flow is completely like dynamically we have created. It will automatically copy the data, whatever filter attitude is giving, okay, the file names. Then related to the file name, well, it is going to copy to the target output folder, okay. So we have with help of this, we can achieve. Here, four times the files will copy. One for the customer rank, second customer rank, third customer rank, fourth customer like this. It is going to copy the all the files line by line. See. Wait one is executing, wait two, okay. So wait three. So this is an option, guys. No need to utilize the wait activity. Okay. Now one file got copied. Now I want to see the second file. So if it is successful, means the file got copied, guys. Okay, you can check the log also. So file did file return. Okay. Now you want to see here output also. So file read, file return. So it got written. So you can go ahead and check it in your blob storage also. The file has been copied. Okay. So like this, we can get like a uh, like get metadata with filter at it with for each as per the real time scenario. Okay. Thank you guys for your time. Now it is still executing. Thank you, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to use the for each activity 
with multiple other activity like filter and get metadata in order to do one scenario. Okay. So here in this example, I'm going to explain to you. I have a folder. I have a folder. Input folder inside it contains multiple CSC files. So I want to read the file. Okay. Read a file which is specific to certain string. Okay. Maybe any name you can take it. So for example, I want to be customer. Suppose I want to read the specific name customer inside the folder. So how many files are the customers? I want to copy those data into target. So this is the my requirement. So which are generally use case in the real time world also. So in this example, I'm going to showcase you how to implement this one. Okay. Now plug into the data factory, azure.portal.com. Open your Azure data factory resource. Now here I'm in the home page. Now I'm going to create one. Already here pipeline is there. I'm I'm going to create a new one here. Get metadata activity. I'm coming. What is the purpose of get metadata? So get metadata it, it will help you read the content inside the folder and it will help you give, give the metadata of the table or content inside the table also content inside the folders. If you want to read from data from a you know structure of the table, you can utilize the get metadata activity. Okay. Now here, this one, I'm going to apply the settings here, general. In general, you, can, you know, general, you need to mention any name. You can mention like I want to read the input folder. Yeah. So I just mentioned this one. Now go to settings tab and create create a new data set. I'm going to say data set here. So click on delimited test. Now go to linker services. Select your blob storage. I'm using existing one. You can create new one also. Guys. Okay. I'm pausing here. In input folder. Okay. In the blob storage, I have an input folder. Click on OK. So here, okay, I'm going to use a property called field list. Here, I'm pausing as an argument child letter. Child letter means Whenever get metadata is going to insert the folder, right? It is going to give all the whatever child data. It means file name, files, folder, everything it will use. Okay. Now let me execute. You see here. Okay. Based on the logs. Okay. So data set we are reading the, these are the input to the field list child item and it is the properties, okay, storage properties now. Now it is written in the form of, you know, JSON, okay. So for example, child item, it has name, type, name, type, okay. And these are the files which we have, okay. What I said, you guys, get my data, it is helps to you read the, insert the folder, right, content. So we have utilized the option as a child data. So it is giving inside the folder whatever we have files. Okay. So it is giving many files. Okay. Now I don't want to load unnecessary. I want to load only specific file. So in order to do how to how to I mean make this solution. So we are going to utilize the filter activity here. Filter activity. Okay. It will help to you read the content inside the folder. Suppose open this condition. Okay, here we have to see pipeline expression editor. Okay, one second is now this one. Select this one. Go to settings. Item. Yes, correct. Activity data output item. Yeah. The reading input folder child data. Okay, this is the second one we have to select. Now here I need to mention the condition. Okay, here we are we are we need to write one expression. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm using this function, content function. I'm selecting the 
filter item, whatever it is, get metadata is going to answer by the filter item in the form of item. Here, I'm going to write name. Here, I'm giving the comma. I want to read this file data only customer ended. Okay. Now click on OK. Now execute the flow. Now what happened, you know, guys? Whatever the data is reading from get metadata, okay, inside the folder, we got many CSV files. This file data can be, you know, utilized by the filter activity and it is going to apply the filter. Okay. You see here. Name, value, name, type. Okay. Now, if you observe carefully, total item code 47. Now we have filter only four. So customer rank. I have applied the condition called customer rank, right? So customer rank. So I have applied the condition for customer. Now it is returning only customer rank. So here. Only four items we have. Okay. Now these four files I want to process to the target system. Okay, now here I'm going to utilize the for each. For each will be, you know, it will be iterating the over the sequence of the items. Whatever items we are getting from the filter active rate, so it is going to iterate the over the sequence of the item. So it is going to loop one by one, one by one. Okay, suppose here I want to do one by one, I am selecting the sequential. You don't want sequential, you can select a batch, you can create a, okay. Here you can mention a batch code, nothing but you know, maximum number of parallel runs for inner activity. It is going to run the pa parallel runs for inner activity, maximum mentioned to, I mean, batch code. Or else you don't want, you can mention as a sequence of runs. Now I'm selecting here. I need to call the filter activity output dot value. What is the parameter it is giving? Return, it is giving the, for example, I am clicking on this one. So generally what it is giving, it is giving value, right? That value I'm calling here. Now, I want to add weight activity here, okay? I want to check whether the loop is executing properly or not, okay? Now everything is done. See, so it means four files are the four times the loop has to be executed, okay? So reading input data, okay. What is filtering the data? So wait is executed. So filter also done. What it is coming? How many times loop has to be executed? One, two, three, four. So like this, we can utilize the get metadata with filter and for each identity guys.